Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 and the third part of our Newcastle United series during the beta where we are in a fantastic position. Now before I get into that, um, I do have a giveaway going on for a brand new copy of FM19 including the beta version. There will be a link to that down in the pinned comment and also in the description as well if I remember to do it. Uh, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter, retweet the tweet and as I'm sure you are already, be subscribed on the YouTube channel. If you don't have Twitter, just sign up, make a throwaway account and just retweet it and I'll let you know if you've won by contacting you by direct message. Um, so it's free copy, you get access to the beta and everything. So make sure you do that using the links in the description and make sure you are subscribed to the channel even if you're not entering the giveaway. It does help the channel grow and I'd love to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So that's my goal. Hopefully you guys can help me reach it. But let's crack on into today's video because as you can see, things are going pretty well. We're in seventh place in the table and when we look at our squad schedule, since we beat Arsenal in the last episode 3-1, we then went on and beat Preston 2-0, Perez and Diame getting the goals there, we beat Cardiff 2-0, Shelby and Diame again on the score sheet, and then we beat West Ham 3-0, Diame again on the score sheet, with Piazon and Muto getting their very first goals for the club. So we are really going from strength to strength. We've had four consecutive wins now after struggling in our first two games. Well, not even struggling in our first two games, just not winning, really. Um, and the real test is today as we take on Manchester City. This is going to be the focus of today's episode. And then I'll probably play through quite a few games, possibly all the way up to the Chelsea match depending on how things go, because I do want to run through these seasons as quickly as possible. So do drop a like on the video if you're enjoying this four-game winning streak so far. It is worth just having a quick look at the squad, because if we sort them by... Um, let's sort them by goals. You can see Ayosi Perez is up there with four goals in six games, but Diame, appearing out of nowhere, he's got three in four. But really, it's the Budaboos perez combination that is doing absolute wonders for us. Budaboos with three assists and two goals in six games. He has been sensational. Our top performers so far this season, both Budaboos and Perez, the army up there as well now. Uh, LaSalle's and Dummett are doing well. Dummett actually surprised me the last few games. He's established himself as our first choice uh, left back ahead of Hap. So that has been a bit of a surprise to me. But I like to reward people who do uh, play well. Now if we have a look at the match today, um, oh, I'm going to have to submit the team by accident. I have already picked my team and here it is. We've got Piazon, Perez and Budaboos up front. Piazon's impressed me the last couple of games. He's grown into his place at the club. We've then got Diame, Shelby and Kisung Young in central midfield with Dummett, LaSalle, Fernandez, and Yedlin in defence to Bravka in goal. I've brought Fernandez in because he was after some first team football. We are against a difficult Man City team, further strengthened in the transfer window. They've brought in Weigel and Guerrero as well, but it's a strong team across the board. One I think we could really hold our own against, but it is going to be very, very difficult. The team are pumped up, they've been reacting well lately, but this is a very different challenge taken on this Man City team. So Budaboos kicks us off. And hopefully we can get off to a decent start. If we can get a goal, uh, we'll be in a great position because we haven't conceded since that uh, really soft free kick against Arsenal. Guerrero puts a corner in, though, to the back stick. Fernandinho picks it up, puts the ball in. Oh, great tackle. But Weigel following up company. Damn it, clears it. And just four minutes in, we've had a goal mouse scramble and have nearly fallen behind. We need to tighten up more than we are at the moment. Gundogan, though, picks up an injury as Pearson gets a yellow card. I assume they are related. Here's Walker to Bernardo Silva, trying to cut inside and run, plays it back to Fernandinho. Even in Football Manager, they've got such nice passing, Man City. Walker, forward to Bernardo. Now it's Fernandinho, onto Aguero, in behind for Bernardo Silva. He's in on goal, what a tackle, but it's just given the ball to the path of Raheem Sterling, who tucks it into the back of the net, and that's the first goal we've conceded in three matches. And it's unfortunate, because we did get the slide tackle in there, but it was not enough. Bernardo here doing well. Playing off the ball. Fernandinho though into Aguero. Bernardo carried on his run. Got him behind. Big tackle. But Raheem Sterling able to just touch that one home for a 1-0 lead. The, play the defender at right back did not track him. And he was able to get the goal. But can we respond? It's Yedlin. Finding Perez. We have been good up front. Plays it down the line. And Perez for some reason decided he didn't want to have to run after that. Uh, Man City keep the ball in. Here's Sterling having a run. 
Gets in between two defenders, cracking tackle, and Dummett cleans up. Now Diame onto Pierzon. He's got Diame making runs, but nothing coming. And Dummett giving the ball away there. This is just not good enough against a team as strong as Man City. And Bernardo Silva's run through four players and got the shot off. Fortunately, it was saved by Dubravka. But Bernardo Silva is ripping us apart at the moment. We're only 12 minutes in. Here's Guerrero onto Sterling. Back to Guerrero again. Plays it across to Aguero. Now Laporte. Oh, I mean, that's just kids' football there. An easy reverse pass to Aguero, who was in on goal, but fortunately put it wide. So we're hanging on by the skin of our teeth at the moment. We haven't had a shot on target yet. Guerrero with the corner. Puts it to the back stick. And Dubravka makes the save. I mean, Man City are the favourites to be champions, so it's nothing unexpected to be losing to them. But the fact that we haven't had a shot yet does not bode well. We haven't had a shot on target, uh, but it doesn't bode well for us. We've won the ball there, but it's come straight back to Walker. We're just not getting to the second balls. Here's Gundogan. On to Fernandinho. Company. Back out wide. They're all bunched up in our midfield. It's making it quite hard to defend. Slide tackles like that do not help. Two of them missing slide tackles is unacceptable. But we do have the ball. It's sent back to Dubravka. Launched downfield with nobody up there. And we can't play a long ball when we're playing without strikers, but we are doing it anyway. Here's Edison. Sends it forward. He's for Guerrero. He's now pulled the defender out of place, but Yedlin does well to recover. Fernandez forward to Keysung Young. Gives it away. That's just really lazy. Sterling tripped by Yedlin, and it is a penalty to Manchester City. And this could be an absolute hammering today. It's Guerrero on the penalty. Surely about to slide this one home. Oh, but it's saved by Dubravka. Uh, Dubravka keeping us in this at the moment. We've managed to save a penalty there. I was sure that one was going to be a 2-0 lead. Uh, but the longer it stays like this, the more chance we have of absolutely stealing a draw. Five minutes to go to half-time. I'll take a 1-0 defeat because it should be many, many more than that. And we are into half-time. So there you go. We've managed to survive despite them having a penalty. And it's just 1-0. I'm going to have a go at the team because I think they've been absolutely... Appalling. I might even make some early substitutions based on how bad they've been up to now. They're playing with an injured player as well, Man City. Uh, here's Walker. Oh, nothing coming of that. They've got corner though, Guerrero. Puts it in, Aguero's in there. Good headed by Diame. Silva back to Guerrero. Back to stick. It's company arriving. Surely he's not going to put a world-class cross in. He does. It's Sterling. Unmarked. Back to Fernandinho. Unfortunately, it's wide, but that... Completely deceived the goalkeeper. And we are just about hanging on at the moment. But the team playing really, really poorly. And I think we're going to have to make some changes after this highlight. Guerrero gives it away to Keysan Young. Who gives it back to Guerrero. Now Fernandinho to Gundogan. Into Aguero. Bernardo Silva puts it wide of the post. We are just barely surviving right now. Uh, so let's make some changes. I'm going to bring off Piers on because he's on a yellow. Bring off Keysan Young for Hayden. And then we'll see what that does. Uh, I'm also going to encourage the team and just see if that makes any difference. Uh, Yedlin is fired up. Dubravka to Lasalle's. Interesting camera angle. Plays it down the line. We've got nobody really there, but Muto's chasing after it. Walker back to Edison. It's sent forward. Good header by Dummett, but Fernandinho easily able to head it down to Gundogan. Ball out wide. Given away, though. Now Diame to Dummett. He can play it over the top. Instead, he goes back to Diame. Perez, good position. He's got men arriving. Oh, what is that touch? Company playing it across the back two there. So frustrating. We're not even getting any chances here. I mean, it's because of our own doing. It's not even because Man City are that great at the moment. It's our own poor performance. Here's Gundogan charging forward from attack that should have been ours. And he has just whipped it over the bar. The only thing helping us is that Man City have been totally wasteful. Not made any substitutions either, which isn't going to help them. Finally, they bring on Danilo at left back. Um, but we've got 20 minutes left here. I think if we go very attacking, we might possibly be able to sneak some. And here's Buda Booze. Gives it away. Company back to Walker. And Edison there, forced to chest it. Um, ball sent forward. Now Raheem Sterling onto Danilo. Trying to attack down the left flank. Comes to Sterling. He's got players over. He's going on his own. He finds Aguero. And it's under Dubravka. As soon as the ball was played on that angle, you knew that goal was going to happen. Um, even though it was straight pretty much at Dubravka, you just knew that was going to be a goal. And it is now 2-0 to Man City. We're not going to watch them score again. 
Um, but 2 0, five minutes left. We're not going to get anything out of this. We've just not been on their level today. Um, and I think a lot of that is our own play, it's our own fault. Um, not even that they're necessarily a much better team than us, but Muto's got in behind here and he can't beat Edison. Our first real chance of the game comes in the 93rd minute. We do have a corner. Um, could we sneak a nice consolation here? Buda Boo's in. LaSalle's unmarked. Danilo hoofs it away. And LaSalle's and Muto both should have done better there. But it is going to finish up at 2-0 to Man City. Our four-game winning run does come to an end. Although the highlight's still going, Hayden there does give the ball away, and it is 2-0 to Man City. So that, really, I'm not happy with the performance, um, and I think we should have put in a better performance. It wasn't even the loss that mattered, it was the fact that we did not perform. That means we dropped down to 7th place, it's not the worst position in the world, we've got some nice, easy games on the way. And you've got to remember, we've already played Arsenal, Liverpool, Everton, and Man City at this point. Um, just six games in and we're up in seventh with 10 points. That's a fantastic return. Um, and in our next few games, I'm expecting a few more wins. Bristol, we should beat in the Carabao Cup. Then it's Brighton at home, who are bottom. Wolves, who are 16th. Southampton, who are 10th. And Burnley, who are 12th. Fulham, who are 4th, which is surprising. And then Chelsea, who are 6th. Uh, the Chelsea game will be the next one that I um, show on camera. So until that next time, do drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe. Enter the competition giveaway. But until next time, see ya.